right, we are headed into winter storm. We're headed into the winter storm in Reno. They have tire chain checks and all that shit. So there's everybody's chaining up. So it's coming up pretty quick. Yo, shit is gonna get. Looks like we're already up. Everybody's chaining up. Mountain's moving slow. As long as the mountain keeps moving. But it looks like everybody's breaking. All right, so we have a winter storm, and as I just said, and they're trying to tell us, and this guy here too, that we need chains on the trailer. I don't know, guys. I've driven through at least 100 winter storms, all right? I mean, I've driven through some shit with a trailer. So they want me to go in there and buy chains for the trailer. This is annoying. All right, so I'm getting the chains installed from somebody. It's 150 bucks. They didn't say anything about the trucks. So the truck is already winter prepped. I'm not worried about that. But the trailer, they said chains have to be on the trailer. Mountain thing, California. So whatever, get those installed. All right, 140 later, we have chains on the trailer. He told me they're gonna tell me I need them on the truck. I got winter tires and all wheel drive. So worst case scenario, we're just gonna sit in the next 20 miles. We're so even autos, some of them are chaining up. Um, I don't know what the rules are with that. That guy doesn't have chains, so they're gonna stop him. I know I have chains, but he said we're gonna be hitting 20 miles of pavement before we even see any snow, but apparently it got fucked yesterday. I should have come through here earlier. He said they were here at 2 a.m., so, I mean, nothing I really could have done. All right, Mr. Code Man said we're good to go. So, chains on the fucking trailer. What? Stupid. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretty much be driving. I don't know what the speed, the fucking speed limit is on those things. I guess nor do I care. But hmm, yes, winter storm go blah, all of it. This sucks. I'm keeping it under 45, just because of the chains. But all the other semis are doing like 20 because they got those big chains. I got these little dinky ones. So he told me in 25 miles they're gonna tell me I need chains on the truck. I'm really hoping that they don't because those guys said I was good. So we shall see. But if they do, then that's it. I'm, I'm kind of stuck. I can't do anything. Yeah, I think this trip's gonna get pushed back a day. That's, that's the mountain there. That is fucked. Yeah, they got this shit clear. Like, I, I feel like the chains were a lot unnecessary. I'm stuck behind all the plows. So we're, uh, if you guys can see that. It's not like we're going anywhere fast. Someone said something, or well, pointed, but let's check these chains. Ah, we're still good. Make sure everything's all right. I think they he wanted me to put chains on the front, which I'm not gonna do that. It's slushy, but it's not bad. That guy's stuck. I'm gonna keep my ass going, I don't care. If they stop me, they stop me. Oh, just gotta watch that turbo. I'm trying not to drive in too much of this slush. All right, so we just got through the chain inspection. He was looking, he's like, and then he saw the trailer and he's like, okay, you good, you good. So, what the fuck is the rule with that? You have to have a chain on one of the axles of the trailer, but I'm allowed to go without putting the chain on the truck. I, I don't know what, I don't get it, but. All right, so we are cruising up the mountain. Chain control, speed limit 30 mile an hour max. All right, well, I'm gonna do 40. I'm good with that. This sucks not having that filter on there. I'm going I'm going to pick up the intake tube today. I just don't have it right now. So hopefully we don't suck in any of this junk, which we probably will, but. All right, we started slipping, so I had to throw it in four. But again, that's why we have four wheel drive. So it uh yeah it just it got to the point where I had to let off and just throw it in four because it started doing one of these. But still, no need for chains. It doesn't look that bad, but I mean it's just the fact that the hip, it, the mountain goes like this. All right, this is where we have to start being careful because we're going down the mountain, and I just passed both plows. One was on the left, one was on the right, um, and they weren't plows. They're using equipment, so we just need to be. Be mindful, drive slow. 
They said everybody came through here last night, fucked shit up. Everybody was crashing. It was a shit show. So, I mean, we'll see. Still, I don't see the point in the chains on the trail. Oh, man. Like, it's a lot worse than it looks. I mean, on camera, it probably doesn't look that bad. But now we're doing this. And I'm trying to... You know, I'm being mindful of it. But it's 40 miles of downhill, so it, it only takes one mistake. See, if I didn't have a trailer, this shit would be fun. I think he's stuck. You're gonna, you're gonna be there a while there, buddy. Wow. Yeah, he's, uh, he's in the wall. I'm trying my best to bring you guys along with me. We're gonna be going slow for a little while. Alright, doing what I can. Trying to keep her around 30. So we're gonna speed back up and then, I mean the cars are passing, but I'm gonna try to keep it around 30 going down the mountain. These guys are doing like 20, 15. I'm doing around, yeah. So I'm doing 30 and those two are passing. And this is just one of those, like, if you, like, the government gives you free will and then you fuck it up because you do stupid shit like that flying down the mountain and then you crash and then the government's like, okay, we're gonna take your rights away because we gave you free will, you fucked it up, now we have to control you because safety and revenue, but you get the All right, so I'm trying to take the plowed lanes. I just passed a plow that was plowing the right lane, so somebody plowed the left, so I'm gonna stay in the left. Cars are passing like stupid. Doing 60 down this shit. But passing the chain removal, but can't take the chains off because it's still snowing. We're gonna be going for a minute. That red is, yeah, we, we definitely have a lot of miles left. In the I think something's wrong with this transfer case because every now and again when you're deselling, it'll throw itself in neutral. And somehow I was able to rev match it. <laughs> Cause like before I was just stopping, but like I got up to 45 mile an hour going down the hill. I'm like, oh shit. But like it only does it on decel kind of annoying but I don't know we're uh still chugging along Vista Point half a mile you guys know where that's at am I getting plowed by or, okay I'm getting passed by a snow plow but yeah so still cruising but that was like that was annoying I'm going down the mountain and then out of nowhere the RPMs just dropped to idle and I'm like oh that was bullshit all right, so you can't see it, but we got the chains off. They weren't actually that bad, so now we have a spare set of chains for the next trip. Some of these guys, I can see why they require chains. I mean, you got 14 to 16 ply tires. I do not. I have 10 ply tires, and the trailer tires are even less than that, so they're soft. But I, again, after driving through that, I don't think I agree with the uh, with the chains on the trailer, but that's just me. Now we get to see everybody on the other side getting ready to chain up. They're all heading towards it. You guys have no idea what you're in for. It's actually not that bad. All right, we made it. Uh, gonna go over, do a visual inspection of everything. Nothing fell off. I threw my chains back here. We get that intake here afterwards, just waiting on him to send me an address. But yeah, you can see all the salt and shit, but I'm ready to get back home. I really am, but Luckily the trailer for uh, going through a snowstorm didn't get coated too much. I was gonna wash the truck, but I mean, there's really no point because I'm gonna be going back through it. So I'm gonna go in there and talk to them and figure out what I need to do to get this thing dropped and then go grab the second one. This thing, I honestly, I forgot that it was back here half the time. All right, there she be. Go over this whole thing. It was a nice place. It's like 60 degrees right now. Here's a cheap way to get every little bit out of the tank back up onto the curb all of it is down this way and we're gonna get that last little bit out of there free as a bird hands-free camera mount anywhere I look you look can someone explain to me what the fuck is that like let me see if I can get a good what is that car got in the way Look at that. Is that an S2000? Why, why would, it looks like a Matchbox car got stepped on. Damn it, can we, 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 can we,
I don't know. I mean, it's clean. It just, it just does. It, it looks like someone stepped on it. Other than that, I mean, it's a good looking car. All right, we got about 34 minutes to go until we get the intake, but I'm gonna stop for food first. I'm tired of sitting in a seat. I don't know how y'all do this for a living. I don't know how I did this for a living. All right, daylight's coming out. It's like 6.42 over in Cali. Well, I'm in Oregon now. But I got the air intake put back on. Appreciate you, Sam, for uh, selling that to me. And I got the transfer case filled and a couple other little issues taken care of. So we're heading up a mountain now in Oregon on 97. They're about say 344 miles from pickup we're just picking up the same exact trailer bringing it back down to the same exact place meeting down there on saturday he said uh jose is going to meet me there so i'm perfectly fine with that and then we're trying to find something else someone wanted me to take a horse trailer to ohio and the dealer only like we were able to get them up to 2400 dollars, and i'm like that's barely a dollar a mile and I would rather just stay out here and just keep making more money than go back there and run for a dollar a mile. They got something out over here. I should have filmed it. Um, when I stopped filming, I went by. There's a uh, Chevy Sierra down in the ditch. So that's why there was there. And I see why a lot of guys have their four ways on because I think there's ice. There's a lot of ice. I mean, I'm not slipping and sliding, but that guy, that guy, and then there's another one. How the fuck did they get... Is that a spot you can park? Oh, I was gonna say. Imagine he just, like, was parked in the snow on the side, but... Oh, well. Yeah, it's 29 degrees, but I don't know. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna cruise, because I don't... I don't feel anything yet. False confidence. Gotta love a clean road. Alright, there it is. Yep, that's ice. Holy shit. <laughs> oh man, all right, I'm gonna cut this video out and we're gonna go to the next one because I feel like these are long enough. But we're gonna go pick up an easy load. Yeah, this is, this is all ice, so I gotta be really careful.